Hi all, it is Nicole Aleph again. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, workspace arrangement in ARCAD. The first thing you'll notice, this is the default template and uh, the default pen set, default uh, palette placement and so on. The first thing you'll notice is that it is quite compact in my view. Uh, for the first uh, two months of my practice it suited me quite well. But since then I found that uh, one uh, palettes are much more used uh, than uh, these here that are shown and uh, the shortcuts are a far better way to achieve uh, what you want in much less time. That's why I suggest uh, that you rearrange your um, template and uh, also your uh, palettes, shortcuts and so on so that uh, you will get uh, more from your product. Let's start. In my practice I found that uh, these buttons at the top uh, about open files, uh, snap guides, uh, guidelines and so on, uh, they can be uh, moved to shortcuts. Uh, for instance, the shortcut to open file is uh, Ctrl plus O. I will press it now. The shortcut to save file is uh, Ctrl plus S. The plot and print shortcut is Ctrl plus P. They are universal for all programs. Uh, hide tab bar, yes. This is called the tab bar. I uh, figured that now. And we, if we press the hide tab bar, we will not see that. Now let's proceed to the toolbox. If you're an experienced uh, ARCHICAD user, you will uh, notice that many of the instruments here are uh, basically, you know them uh, even if you don't see them. And you use shortcuts for them. Toolbox and rearrange uh, what uh, icons uh, can be shown in each of these sections by just uh, clicking on a selected uh, function of the program and uh, clicking on add selected and it would add it to the um, uh, to this department design in this case We'll move on to the um, color sense uh, and uh, frames other options later when we first um, make the options for the windows. So press OK. Uh, I prefer the info box, which is this uh, panel here, to be vertical and placed next to my tool toolbox. That's why. I will drag it and place it here and the toolbox is either on this side or on the left side. Press the control key while moving the, your elements uh, not to allow them to dock because when you don't press it it just dock there. If you prefer docking, don't press the control key. Another very useful menu, you can go to window, palettes and uh, find favorites. It is one of the most uh, used uh, panels if you are a professional ARCHICAD user. Therefore, you can define your walls by just going to the wall option 
and uh, click on any composite you like adjust its pens I will not go into detail how pens are defined now while the item is still selected you've got to go to the favorites and save current selection it will now ask uh, ask us uh, for a name so replace my wall and it showed up here another menus and palettes that are useful are the trace and reference it will be placed here just uh, contract the navigator this way and one more menu which uh, I find uh, useful is the quick options interestingly it uh, places <laughs> It places it by default uh, very very expanded. I don't need uh, such uh, many menus. It uh, allows you to quickly change the scale, the pen set, the layer state and so on. You can just... Uh, don't forget to hold your control key while moving them, not to allow them to dock. And that's uh, my basic uh, environment. I use it practically for my all drawings as far as pa palettes are concerned. Now let's go to the backgrounds. Go to view, grid uh, and editing plane options, grids and background. We don't want uh, this grid to be showing all the time it's just a distraction just click here no grid by double clicking on the background you can change your color I prefer using uh, my guidelines not uh, any grids this is about the grid placement and that's all from this menu now let's go to the colors and we'll finish this video by doing that go uh, press f3 and go to the work environment dialog uh, boxes and palettes mm. very important uh, important the pet palette uh, many many users uh, press it to follow the um, cursor and I'll show you what uh, this is uh, in effect this is the distance press ok let's now draw a simple wall to demonstrate the pet palette use basically the pet palette is this menu which uh, follows your cursor now it can be annoying uh, actually because uh, when you are aiming to extend it somewhere around here it will just uh, place uh, be placed there and uh, you will have to move it and then extend the wall which sometimes can be irritating that's why press F again that's why I use um, jump to preferred position this cannot be changed press ok now and when we move <laughs> it uh, completely disappears <laughs> it, it is on the other monitor can you believe that yes I, I will now go go to the other monitor and uh, drag it here it is and uh, it's one of the most uh, funny <laughs> stories about Akikat. Imagine that happening when you're busy and uh, you've got to submit your project. 
And now when you drag that to an, oh, whichever placement you like here, it will always be there when you start uh, using your commands you will search for it there and it can be a very useful habit for you the other options let's quickly go through them about highlights I prefer using uh, blue highlight for the marquee because it's very easy to be seen on white background highlights maybe sooner this is a second color yes transparency editable selection dots yes that's uh, very important uh, the editable section dot shall be um, something uh, easily seen i prefer yellow on darker colors and i'll show you what this is place a wall And uh, you see now, because uh, I changed uh, my selection dot color, to blue, they are sh shown here as blue. <coughs> and reference lines, I changed it to uh, blue, it uh, is uh, Red usually for uh, reference, reference signs. That's that's all from this menu. Show tracker. Show tracker always or on demand. Uh, always is um, not suggested because many of the operations won't need a tracker. Mm, yes, this is actually quite understandable I suggest you use uh, 45 degrees for the incremental angle I suppose 0 0.2 seconds and now much much faster it just places uh, our guide and snap guides and by clicking the escape key you remove them all At high snap points is good and basically that that will be uh, don't click on enable archicad sounds at all costs on screen view options yes, yes, yes. that's that's quite okay so that's all for this video uh, on the next video we will uh, take more time to explore our options uh, concerning the shortcuts and uh, the basic commands. Thanks for watching.